Hello, thank you for watching. In this very short video, I want to explain a little bit what an IP lawyer is and does. Uh, you may see this uh, phrase sometimes, this, this uh, title if you want, uh, IP lawyer. And you may wonder, well, what is an IP lawyer? What is the difference between an IP lawyer and a patent lawyer and a trademark lawyer and a copyright lawyer, uh, litigator, prosecutor? What, what is this? So let me explain this uh, very, very brief briefly in this video. Uh, an IP lawyer, like, like myself, um, can uh, do several things. All uh, IP law related uh, 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 jobs, services, if you want. Um, and one of them is patents. If you are a re registered patent attorney like myself, right, you, you can do uh, patents, you can uh, uh, apply for patents, prosecute patents, and get the patents granted at the USPTO. Uh, an IP lawyer uh, can do also uh, trademarks, right? Trademark application searches, prosecuting the trademark application to get the registration out from the USPTO. Uh, now, again, uh, some IP lawyers will not be registered patent attorneys, so they cannot do the patent side but they will just do the trademark sign uh, and maybe uh, something else as well. And, and you see here, another thing that a typical patent lawyer does is dealing with trade secrets. Uh, that's, those are, uh, 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 as the name suggests, trade secrets, right? Um, when, for example, an employee, employee uh, uh, leaves a, uh, an employer and takes some of the secrets of that employer with, uh, with him to the next uh, job, that may be a trade secret uh, law violation if that's not handled properly. So we, we deal with that as well, make sure that our clients' trade secrets are, are protected. Uh, another aspect of an IP lawyer job is to deal with, uh, to help clients with copyright protection, you know, um, applying for copyright registrations and maybe enforcing or defending against uh, uh, copyright infringement claims. So that's that's an IP lawyer. Again, uh, some, some of us will do all of this, patents, because uh, you are a registered patent attorney and you can do patents, then you may, you may do patents as well. Uh, you may do the trademark work, trade secret works, uh, copyrights, um, and these are the main uh, areas of IP law, if you want, patents, trademarks, trade secrets, and copyrights. Now, when it comes to these main areas of IP law, um, some IP lawyers may choose to do just the IP prosecution, which means you just apply for the patent if you are a registered patent attorney and, and prosecute it to get the patent granted. Uh, if you uh, uh, work on the trademark uh, side, you, you apply for the trademark registration and you prosecute that application to get the trademark registered. Uh, so that's, that's what is called IP prosecution work, and that applies usually to patents and trademarks uh, uh, only. And then copyrights as well, I guess. We could include that as well because the copyrights have to be registered, so that could be, uh, we, could be we could call it uh, copyright prosecution work as well. Uh, trade secrets do not need to be registered, so there's no IP prosecution for trade secrets. Uh, some IP lawyers may choose to do also the IP enforcement, meaning you enforce this patents, trademarks, trade secrets, or copyrights for the clients, or you defend the clients when they are accused of infringing any of these this, uh, types of intellectual property. Uh, so let's say uh, a client has a patent and it's being infringed. Uh, in the enforcement phase, we could send a cease and desist letter and, and maybe uh, even file a lawsuit uh, if needed, and that will be, of course, the IP litigation phase. Uh, similar with the trademarks, right? Maybe the client is accused of trademark infringement. We need to defend them. We need to respond to that enforcement, uh, that uh, the cease and desist letter that may come in this IP enforcement phase. And if the client is hit with a trademark infringement lawsuit, we will need to defend the client. So please keep in mind that not all the IP lawyers will do all of these three phases of, of the IP work, if you want. Some will just stick with the prosecution. Some will uh, be okay to do some enforcement for the client as well. And some will uh, be open to even uh, 
engage in litigation on behalf of the client, either you know, filing a lawsuit or defending against a lawsuit. I personally do all of these works, um, patents, trademarks, trade secrets, copyrights, because I'm a registered patent attorney, so I can do patents as well. Um, and I do all of this uh, type of work, IP prosecution, IP enforcement, and IP litigation. I hope this gives you a brief overview of what an IP lawyer is about, or IP attorney, if you want. And this is briefly what an IP lawyer does. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.